Well, bus born folks, today it is Monday, Monday. Today is Tuesday, June 11th. So, without further ado, let's jump right into Max Licato's lesson. This is who's in charge. And the scripture to start is 1 Peter 5 and 7. Give all your worries to him because he cares about you. It's a good thing to do because worries can be an idol. Let's dive in. Let's see what he's got. Worry makes you forget who's in charge. Amen to that. And when the focus is on yourself, you worry. <laughs> I've learned to do my best to be concentrated, to be concerned rather about the matter, but try not to worry and do not worry. Remember, you can give all your worries and cares to the Lord. So when our flesh is worrying, give it to the Lord. Don't turn it around. You know, we don't want to be in charge of ourselves because then we're worried, just like it says. And when the focus is on yourself, you worry. You become anxious about many things. You worry that your car workers won't appreciate you. Here I called in yesterday. Your leaders will overwork you. Your superintendent won't understand you. Your congregation won't support you. What time your agenda becomes more important than God's? You're more concerned with presenting self than pleasing Him. And you may even find yourself doubting God's judgment. God has gifted you with talents. He has done the same to your neighbor. If you concern yourself with your neighbor's talents, you will neglect yours. But if you, if, but if you concern yourself with yours, you can inspire both. Yeah. Do you find... What you worry more than you focus on yourself rather than on God. Why is that so? Hmm. Do you find that you worry more when you focus on yourself rather than on God? Why is that so? Because simply we are the flesh and he is, he has the Holy Spirit. And if we don't put our flesh under subjection to his Holy Spirit, knowing that Jesus died a criminal's death upon the cross of Calvary, for you and me to be set free from worrying from all these other things of the flesh, really free from sin, well, then we can't begin again. We're not going to believe. You know, then we'll have worry and instead of taking taking these cares and worries to God, these things that come to hinder us, take them to God so he can unblock them, then we'll, we'll, we're just going to block ourselves with the foolishness of the flesh, the five senses, what you see, what you smell, what you hear, you know, what you feel. Don't let your emotions govern you. <laughs> and to me, that's what it means. Do you find that you worry more when you focus on yourself rather than on God? I don't worry on God. I do bring my worries to him. But, well, you know, why would I worry about my surrender to him in January 5th, 2008? Like, it didn't work. You know, I'm not the same person at all. And, you know, do you find what you worry when you focus on yourself rather than on God? Why is that? You know, when I focus on God, I'm not worried. When I focus on myself like a problem, like um, <laughs> I focus on losing something that I really need, instead of giving that to the Lord, he gives me who I know equips me for everything that I need, then I have a dilemma and something's going to happen one way or another. But I've noticed if I just like, you know what? Lord, I put my flesh under your subjection, and I'm praying for the right hand of victory to come upon me. But if I fail at this one thing, then you're going to give me something else to do. Because I'm always saying that Proverbs 21 to 1, the king's heart's like a stream of water directed by the Lord. He guides it wherever he pleases. Sometimes we go through things that it may look some kind of way where we're going to go somewhere we don't want to go. We're going to lose something that we don't want to lose, but it is meant for the Lord's good and the tablet of our heart. And he'll, see, you know, seek his will and all you do. And he will show you which path to take. And the path that he will show you and I is the path to victory each and every time. Be blessed. Yeah, I'm journey.